It is that time of year. It's the spring. It's senior prom season here at North Penn High School. And once again, we are back here at Drexel Brook Ballroom in Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania for the 2023 North Penn High School senior prom. We have a lot of stuff happening tonight. Students are coming in. They are dressed to the nines. We have dinner. We have dancing. We have everything so that you can sit back, relax, and relive your own prom memories through the magic of North Penn Television. We have it all tonight. I'm sure many of you out there are watching, watch the show every year. You know how great everybody looks. You're gonna hear what's going on in the lives of North Penn students. You're gonna meet some fantastic people that make the prom possible. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It is Senior Prom 2023 from Drexelbrook. Enjoy. Dazzling couple of the night. Introduce us to yourself and your lovely days. All right, I'm Kevin Gallagher, and this is Ava Griner. Now, Kevin, when you saw Ava tonight for the first time, what was this? Is a question we ask every year. What was the first word that came to your mind? Oh my God, just so That's beautiful. That's three words. Yeah, That's I five know, right? words. Oh my God, she's beautiful. That's so beautiful. a lie. What do you think he thought? He said, oh, hi. <laughs> no, see, that's what he said, but that's not what came to his oh, mind. Yeah, exactly. of course. Exactly. Ava, you have a stunning dress. Thank Why you. Why don't you step in the front here? We'll take a step back. Do a little spin. Show us your dress. Look at that. Now, that's, that is something. Is that, I mean, you, that's impressive. Yeah, it is impressive. It ruined my suit coat, though, so. <laughs> Why? Did you get glitter everywhere? everywhere? Everywhere. I see there's a little glitter on your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's in my hair. It's everywhere. Yep. Yep. You know, they, there's a saying about glitter. Uh, well, I'm not going to say because it's really not appropriate for television, but talk a little bit about how you got here tonight. What'd you, uh, what was your mode of transportation? So, we drove in his Golden Bullet, a 2002 oh, yeah. Chevy Malibu. A 2002 Chevy Malibu? Now, oh, that's, yeah. that's luxury right there. Oh, Barely definitely. working, but you know okay. what? It works. Made it Probably. down the Blue Road okay, got yep. here? Mm -hmm. She all right. started, that's all that matters. She started. She and we, started. And if she doesn't start when you leave, you just stay here. It's not the worst yeah, thing Yeah, we'll have a blast sure. all night. Tell us what you're doing next year. Uh, probably going to community college for my first two years, okay. and uh, then maybe do a university of some sort. All right, so. Ava, how about you? I'm studying psychology at Westchester. Go Rams! All right, Westchester, PA, psychology. There's a lot of market for jobs in that yes. category. So, all right, and what are you most looking forward to tonight? Um, dancing, probably. Okay. Probably. I'm, a, I'm a big dancer, yeah. Are you? Uh, yeah, I, I guess <laughs> so. I guess I have to be. I'm so. not surprised. <laughs> you look like you can really party out there. All right, thank you. All right, you guys have a great time tonight. Thanks thank for joining you. us. All right, thank you. who is not from North Penn. However, I noticed he's wearing North Penn colors. So, I understand you're from New Jersey, is that right? Yes. So you came across the bridge to get here tonight. Yeah. All right, why don't you introduce us to yourself and your beautiful date. I'm Jake Schmidt, and this is my date, Jasmine Brown. Jasmine, yes. stunning dress. Thank you. I, I imagine you picked the colors because you want to introduce this guy to what it's like to be a North Penn Knight. Oh, for sure, yes. Talk about your, uh, your 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 accessories here. You got a lot going on. I do. I went for like a sun and moon theme with my little okay. sky blue. Keep it tied into each other. All right. We didn't see a lot of sun today, so you're bringing the sunlight, right? Yeah, that's actually the first thing he said when he saw me. Is that right? Yes. Uh, smart guy. <laughs> uh, how'd you guys get here tonight? Uh, we drove in a 
uh, Ford Explorer 2022. Okay. Yeah. Now, I have a question, but I always ask this question. How is it that you came to end up at the prom with a Jersey boy? Oh, uh, we met through some friends, um, and we kind of just clicked over a year ago. So I okay. Kinda... Good stuff. And what are you looking forward to tonight most? <laughs> There's option yeah. A is dancing, option B is the food, option C is the ice cream bar, and option D is the after party. After party. No, you're supposed to say the ice cream. <laughs> I'm looking for the ice cream. Jasmine, ice cream. what are you doing next year? Next year, I'm just going straight into the workforce, probably moving to Pittsburgh. Oh, there. the Berg. Yeah. Okay, Western PA. Go Pirates. Yes. Having a good year this year so far. All right, well, you guys have a great time tonight. Enjoy Thank the senior you. prom. Thank you. You as well. Okay. We have a lot of dynamics going on here. We're going to unpack all that here in a second. So we're going to start out by saying that we have a guest among these three who is definitely the long, the furthest drive to get to Drexelbrook so far. Everybody we talked tonight, we'll get to that in a second. So tell us first who you are and tell us these two beautiful women that you're standing with tonight. So I'm Ryan Willihan. Ryan, by the way. I never give up the microphone. Oh, sorry. So No, no, you back. know what? You have it now, so you, you use it wisely, okay? All right. This is my date, Leonie Kaiser, and this is Claudia Smith. Your last name is Willihan? Yes. Are you related to the guy that graduated last year? Patrick Willihan? Yes. I am. He's my brother. Wow. How's Patrick? He's doing good. He's at Westchester. All right. Shout out to Pat Willihan. All right. So this female over here, this beautiful, stunning woman who is in this yes. gorgeous dress, it took her a long time to get here tonight. It she did. She had to swim, like... <laughs> A long way, right? Across the Atlantic. From? Germany. Germany. All right. You can take the microphone now. We want to hear a little bit about your story. So, you are an exchange student. Yes. From Germany. Yes. Tell us all about America so far and how your experience has been. I love it here. I don't want to go back. And I really like the high school experience. I like all of my classes. I like my teachers. I'm just really happy to be here. All right. Of all those things you said, what is your favorite part about these United States of America? I think my host family and my friends. Because okay. I just love these people and I don't want to leave them. Hey, stick around for the year. We got another political uh, season coming up next year. You really ought to be around for that one. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, when do you go back? Uh, I go back in like middle to end June after graduation. Any thoughts of maybe coming back here for college? Probably not because I have to pay. I don't have to pay in Germany for college, and I would have to pay okay. here. But if I would get a scholarship, I would definitely consider it. Okay. Well, that's a possibility. All right. Let's go over here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Claudia Smith. I'm a junior, and I happen to be neighbors and best friends with Leone. Very nice. Way to represent the class of 24. Yeah. All right. Um, Mr. Wheelahan, what are you doing next year? I'm going to Westchester as well. Okay. Go Rams. Um, what are you guys looking forward to most tonight? I'm excited for the balloon drop. The balloon drop? Okay. I would say the balloon drop too. Then balloon drop and your first American problem. What, what are you looking forward to most? Everything. Like, Everything. Yes. <laughs> Everything. Well, you guys have a blast. There's so much great stuff happening here tonight. We have thousands upon thousands of people in the North Penn community. They're going to watch the show and see you here tonight. Do you have any final words to the North Penn community? Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Anything else? On. Hi, dad. Hi, dad. Hi to my family. Ach du Liebe, right? <laughs> All right. Great job. Have a good time tonight. guys here with me right now we're going to introduce each one of them one at a time we're going to talk to them find out what they're all about so you go first uh, my name is Salvatore Scoma I'm a senior at North Penn what are you looking forward to most tonight uh having fun with my friends and dancing on the dance floor right. I see you got the North Penn navy blue on that's yeah, good yeah hopefully I get really sweaty in the dance floor tonight really well you will definitely get sweaty in the dance floor that's mm -hmm. a commonality here at the North Penn high school prom yes it is yes it is all right what um tell me something about what you do at North Penn uh well I don't really do a lot at North Penn. Kind you of, study? I focus on my school. That's you get all, I, all A's? No, I wish. You get mostly A's? <laughs> you get one A. I have one in, A. In I have, what? 
Um, history. Oh, good. Oh, Government. Good. History yeah. support. Yeah. Um, what are you going to do next year? I'm going to Pittsburgh. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're the second person so for tonight. Yeah. So you're going to Pittsburgh. What, what is it about Pittsburgh? Uh, it's not near here. Okay. Yeah, and All I'm right. going for business. You know, there was a great television show that was supposed to be taking place in the Pittsburgh area. It was called Mr. Belvedere. Have you ever heard of it? No, I have not. Oh, you look up Mr. Belvedere. Google that. Get back to me, okay? Okay, I will. All right. Definitely. Over here on this side, we have the famous Kabir of Kabir's Corner. Kabir, say hello to everybody. Hello everyone, my name is Kabir Bakta and I do the announcements every Monday. You do a couple announcements every Monday? Yep. With whom? You. Oh, that's right, Kabir, that's right. So this is sort of like Kabir's Corner Primetime Edition, right? Yep. All right, Kabir, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Going on the dance floor and hanging out with people, sweating and having so much fun. Kabir, can you dance? Well, I didn't even expect a model, but there you go. That's I how you dance. I dance a little faster. Can we get a close-up of his feet, and can you do that again? All right, Kabir. Oh, now that, see that? Now that is, yep. I'm not going to compete with that. I'm not going to touch it, guys. Have a great time tonight. Tell us all about your beautiful date. Well, her name is Kaylee. Uh, she's in the, the uh, grade above us. She graduated from North Penn last year. Oh, an older woman. <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess so. And uh, she goes to Monaco, right? All right, good. Just making sure. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to have her. All right. Kaylee, were you here last year? Yes, I was. So you're going to compare last year, this year, see which was best? Yeah. All right. You've been here. You're a veteran. What should Frankie be expecting tonight? Um, a lot of people and a lot of fun. A lot of people, a lot of fun, a lot of food, a lot of ice cream, all yes, that stuff. Yes, yes. Frankie, tell us about things you do at North Penn besides what I already talked about. Well, aside from the things you already talked about, I did theater for a while. Had a really great time doing that. I singing do, in the Rain last year. Singing in the Rain last year. Yeah, great show. Had a lot of fun doing it. I do NPTV, having a lot of fun. This is NPTV. Yeah, I know. I see so my director weird. right behind there. So weird, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Mr. Gilmer, we, ha we have a lot of fun doing that. Um, let's see, what else? I was in Link Crew. That was a lot of okay. fun. And uh, I'm in Chamber Singers, Men's Choir, all that good stuff. All right. You forgot to mention the podcast. Of course, the Night Crier podcast, the, the Night's Roundtable. Yeah. Check rest, it out. Rest in peace, Night Crier podcast. <laughs> um, and uh, what about next year? Next year, I'm going up to Penn State. The Penn State University. Absolutely. You know, I heard they're looking for a new PA announcer for their football games. New PA announcer? All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Maybe. I'm Maybe love to you'll see hear it. me. Maybe. All right, well, listen, tonight's about you guys, not about my future public address career at the stadium. <laughs> so enjoy yourselves tonight, have a great time, and be a gentleman. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Monero. Right. All right, we have a famous alumni and of course a current senior at North Penn High School. So I'm gonna let you introduce yourself and your lovely date, even though we already talked to her last year. But it's, don't adjust your sets, everybody. This is not a rerun. All right. Um, my name is Sam Mostrak. I'm a senior and I'm going to Penn State next year. Okay, Sam, what do you do at North Penn? Anything special? Just play ice hockey. It's over oh, now. Oh, just play ice hockey. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Ice hockey's great. Yeah. Tell us about your beautiful date. Uh, so this is Erin Jessberger. Everyone knows her. She's an early education major going to Monaco now. Okay. She's famous around here. Were you here. always early education or did you change? I changed my major after going to Monaco. Great decision. Best decision that I ever made. And I learned what I wanted to do and I changed my major. So I love it. All I right. love it at Monaco. Good stuff. Sam, what are you going to major in at Penn State? Uh, computer engineering. Oh, big box in computer engineering. Smart man, hope. smart man. I see you guys are going with the dark green tonight. You know, that's a Norgwen green. You know all about it. It's Nor a Norgwen green, but also it's an Eagles green as well. It's also an Eagles green, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to say it's a Norgwen green because, you know, my good friend Jimmy Rittenhouse, you know, he's very big in Norgwen and he would really enjoy this color. Of course. Um, tell us how you got here tonight. Uh, we took a limo here. Ooh, a limo. Okay. Nice and fancy. Very nice. Very nice. What are you looking forward to most tonight? The food. The food? I'm a little hungry myself. So am I. In fact, I'm a bit famished. Yeah, I'm right. starving too. I'm not going to lie. Good stuff. 
Aaron, what are you looking forward to in your return trip to the prom? As always, I'm looking forward to the music and the dancing. I'm so excited and I can't wait. What kind of music do we expect to hear tonight? Um, I'm hoping to hear some Taylor Swift because obviously she's in concert. She's right downtown tonight. And yeah. I want to listen to some Pitbull as well. I'm really excited. Oh, yes. That's exactly what will be on the top of my list also. <laughs> All right. You guys have a great time tonight. Thank you, yeah, Mr. You Renee. Two handsome gentlemen flanking me on either side. We're going to have them introduce themselves to you, and then we'll talk a little bit to them. Here we go. I saw, I'm George Graff. George Graff Jr. George Graff Jr. Okay. Tell you a story about George in a second. And uh, my name's Connor Baker. Connor Baker, I will tell you about Connor Baker. He is, he peaked a couple weeks ago. He did his only radio broadcast hey. of North Penn Baseball, and it was so good, he never came back to hey, do it we again. Might, we right? might do it again. We might do it again. I hope so. So, George. A couple years back, you know, during the vid, right? You were in my journalism class, right? Of course. Tell everybody here how much of you I saw. Zero. Maybe. No. On some days, maybe the top of my head. The but forehead, that was about right? It. The forehead. Yeah. And where did you conduct your uh, classes from? Most oh, of the time? all of them from my bed. From his bed. That's correct. And and then when I finally saw George in person, I was like taken back. I didn't really know what you were looking for. All right, George, what are you doing next year? Uh, I'm going to West Virginia for sports media. Oh, is that a fact? That sports is a fact. media. Yep. That's so strange because you never wrote for the Night Crier and you never did MPTV. You had all these opportunities, George. You got some ground to make up. I, I guess so. That's all right, though. West Virginia's great, man. You're going to love that. All right. I, I think I will. You will. You definitely will. Connor Baker, what are you doing next year? I am going to Penn State University. The Penn State University. Yes, to major in? Um, undecided. Undecided? Undecided. You know what? You go there, you figure yeah. it out, and you're going to have a great time. I will. What are you looking forward to tonight? Um, getting on the dance floor. You want to show some moves now, or you want to hold that off for a while? I got to save it. All right. Yeah. What are you looking forward to, George? I haven't figured that out yet. It's just kind of like, we'll see as it goes, you know? That's, that's a good way to put it, George. All right, Connor Baker and George Graff Jr., have a great time tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. It's WNPB. It's time now for the Suburban Weather Scope. Oh, no, that's old school WNPB. Right now, I am standing next to the lovely Maria Pouchart, who is the new WNPB. Maria, before we get into that, tell us a little bit about yourself and your handsome dude. Well, I do the radio here at North Penn. It's just me, myself, and I, and I love doing it and sharing my music. And this is my lovely date, Dylan Sissian. He was on the water polo team. And yeah. Okay. Dylan, what do you think about Maria tonight? I just think she looks lovely. She um, does look lovely. It was a wow statement when she came downstairs. Oh, so, wow yeah. statement. Was it like slow motion walking down the stairs? We didn't like, even know that she came down the stairs. We were sitting in the family room and she just You missed the in. grand entrance? Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You're going to have to do it all over again. Yeah. Come back and see you in like an hour. Yep. All right. All right, so, uh, Dylan, what are you doing with Penn? Besides water uh, polo, anything else? I used to swim and now I just kind of just relax. I work outside of school, but that's pretty right. much it. What are you doing next year? I'm going to head to college, go to Alvarez University, and go uh, go do sports management. Fantastic. And uh, Maria, tell us a little bit about this whole WNPB thing. So it's just me on the radio live Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Tuesdays is less old hits, Thursdays is throwbacks. And I just sit and I play my live music, and I do sports updates, and I do the weather, and just things that are happening around North Penn. And in case people don't know, WMPB is back, and it is real, and it is on 98.5 FM, right? Yes, 98.5 FM, 1440 AM, Lansdale. That's right. So like, if you're my friend Debbie Rittenhouse, and you're going 90 miles an hour down Summitown Pike, you could be listening while you're in your car, right? Absolutely. That's fantastic. So we hope that it takes off, and you are going to be the person who makes it all possible. Perfect, right? yes. All that's right. that's my dream. What are you guys looking forward to tonight? The music. Yeah, okay. music. The music? What is your like go-to music? You know, like, what are you listening to segment on WNP or on a morning show? I prefer classic rock. I'm a classic rock girly. Ah, that's a great answer. Yeah, classic rock as well. All right. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a betting man here. I got, like, 20 bucks <laughs> in my pocket. You're not going to hear any classic rock tonight. Absolutely not, Sadness. no. Maybe you could put in a request. Absolutely. I hope so. All right. Great job, guys. Have a good time tonight. Thank you. Good luck Thank next you. year. Thank you. Have a good
wonderful combination of North Penn Blues here. So introduce us to yourself and your lovely day. Um, my name is Jordan, and this is Liv. Jordan, what's your last name? Jordan Long. We always like to use last names because then people watch the show and they're like, oh, wait a minute, I know that kid's parents or like something like that. Yeah, that's All right, Jordan, when you picked up your beautiful day tonight, did. what was the first word that came to your mind? Um, I thought she looked beautiful. She honestly. looked beautiful, yes. Where did you get that stunning dress? Uh, Macy's. Macy's? Yeah. Okay. And how about those flowers? That's the first bouquet that we've seen tonight. Uh, Jordan got them. Where'd you get them, Jordan? Don't tell me like somebody's grave. <laughs> I, no, I got them at Rhodes Garden. Oh, uh, Rhodes Garden. You know, I have a friend, Al Warner, who used to work at Rose Garden way back in the day. Wow. It's a great place. It is. If you need a tree, like a lot of trees too, but it would have been weird if you brought her a tree, right? Yeah, I wasn't planning on bringing her a tree. Yeah, like but... here's my beautiful dogwood. Like, it, that yeah. would be so weird. Right? Yeah, I agree. Um, what are you guys looking forward to most tonight? Um, I don't really know. The food? The food? Probably. I would say like dancing. Okay. And uh, tell us a little bit about what you do at North Penn. Anything you special? Uh, um... No, we just finished our Ultimate Frisbee season. Oh, you're an Ultimate Frisbee player. Okay. Yeah. I actually have never played it. Do you call Ultimate Frisbee or just Ultimate? Um, either or. Okay. We don't really have a name. How'd you get into that? Um, well, club president, Matt Wenner. Um, okay. Shout out to Matt kind Wenner. Of, um, he kind of got our friends together, and we got a bunch of other kids together okay. to do the club. So. Good stuff. What are you doing next year? Uh, I'm going to Penn State University. For what major? Uh, secondary Education History. Ha ha! You want to be a teacher? I do. What subject? History. Great subject. How about next year for you? I'm a junior. Oh, uh -huh, so you got a whole <laughs> other year of all yeah. this. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, you guys have a good time tonight. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. year no doubt is navy blue okay but you guys have a great dark light combination that we gotta like it so introduce us to yourself and your beautiful date i'm kevin brandis and this is faith leanne kevin that's my name you know that i didn't know that yeah yeah it's awesome it's a great name okay where'd you get your dress windsor's okay it's stunning you want to do a little Thank spin you. for us yes. like you can ask for a spin sometimes all right really good how'd you guys get here tonight uh actually our parents drove us that's great are they picking you up too or are they just leaving you here for the weekend? Yeah, they're picking us up. That's nice. I saw a Mother's Day card today. It said like, great moms, no, it said good moms drive their kids places. Great moms also pick them up. That's yeah. true. That's yeah, true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, and what are you looking forward to most tonight? Um, I want the music to be good. I want to dance a lot. What's good music? I've been asking a lot of people that. Lil Uzi, Pop Smoke, Kendrick. or like Bruce Springsteen? Kendrick Lamar. Oh, okay. Kendrick Lamar, yeah. Yep. What do you think? I don't know. I'm just here to have fun. You're a, man of, you're a man of few words, aren't you? I am. Okay. What are you doing next year? I'm going to college at Westchester for music education. Oh, a music teacher. Okay. Um, I'm a junior, so. So what are you going to do next year? Live it up? Yeah. Make the most of yep. it? Make a good mark at North yep. Penn before you graduate yep. instead of fading into the night? Yep. All right. Good stuff. You guys start out by having a great time tonight. You too. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll see you on the dance floor. Probably not, though, because I don't know anywhere near the dance floor. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you so much. All right, I always like solo interviews. I feel like we can have a real in-depth conversation. So why don't you say hello to the North Penn community and tell us who you are and a little about yourself. Hello, North Penn High School. My name is Sean Peroni. I'm a senior. I am so glad to graduate, just like my older, just like my older brother Joshua before me. What's and your older brother Joshua doing right now? He's at college at Mercer University. He's coming home. Okay, good, good. He's arriving tomorrow. All right, we're getting to the end of the school and, year here. Um, what are you looking forward to most at the end I'm of the school year? I'm looking forward to say that I'm really nervous and scared about college since I got made it to six or eight. I don't. I can't keep count. What's your top choice? My top choice is that I'm wanting to go to University of Pitt at, at Johnstown. Okay. But that's out of the way because they didn't have the right stuff for me. Yep. So I'm thinking about Whitworth, or, but my dad told me that the best fit for me is University of Ozarks. And I will be the second parolee to go to college. Yes, sir. Go get him. All right. We have
have another stunning couple tonight. Please introduce us to yourself and your beautiful date who used to be one of my students. Hi, I'm Connor Weirman and this is Stephanie. Connor. Yes, Connor. Yes. Connor, um, it's very nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I like your glasses. Thank you. Okay. Stephanie was in my English class last year. Maybe so she I've told heard. you that. Yes, I've Did heard. she tell you all the great experiences she had? No. No? Um, Connor, tell us how you got here tonight. Uh, we rode in with my parents. That's great. It's way better than hitchhiking, which is what I thought you were going to say. Steph, let me see your dress. Like, come out here and show the world your beautiful dress. Take a little spin. Give us a spin. All right, Steph. Nicely done. All right, come on back. Steph, what are you looking forward to most tonight? I'm looking forward to having fun with my friends. Awesome. And what are you guys doing next year? Um, I'm going to Bloomsburg to be an elementary school teacher. Bloomsburg. Go Huskies. Elementary school teacher. That's the best. How about you there, Mr. Wireman? I'm going to Troy University for environmental science. Ooh, environmental science. Good major these days. We've got to keep the earth green, right? You yeah. excited about it? Yeah. Good. And um, how about at North Penn High School? What are you going to miss the most about North Penn? Um, I think just the memories. Of uh, it. So many great They're, memories, right? Everywhere you look, something has happened. It's all the little things. Steph, what are you going to miss most about North Penn besides your English teacher from 11th grade, obviously? <laughs> yes. Um, and all the memories and all the good friends I made. All right, good stuff. Well, you're going to make new memories and great friends in college next year. So first, enjoy the night tonight. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Sarah, beautiful Paris. Welcome to the prom. Thank you. You're welcome. Paris, tell us about your date. Um, well, I've known him since uh, first grade. Wow. What school? Oak Park. Oak Park Elementary School, throwing it back to first grade. Yeah. Did you guys meet, like, on the playground or something where you played a game of Foursquare? How'd it go? I have no idea. I don't remember. It's been too long. Were you making, like, turkey hands or something at Thanksgiving and you looked at each other across <laughs> the turkey and said, we're going to go to the prom some night? No. no. I think that's what happened. I think that's what happened. happened. I'm, like, <laughs> trying to play out this great story that's exactly in my mind. How it happened. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's similar, similar to that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tell us about yourself. Um, what do you want to know? Anything. Anything? Uh, Let's go. First name, last name, college you're going to go to, major, all of the simple stuff. All right. My name is Om Dave, and I'm going to Penn State for aerospace engineering. Woo! Puri, that's big time aerospace engineer. Mm -hmm. All right, Puri, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm Puri. I'm going to Temple for biochemistry. Wow, aerospace engineering and biochem. That's a heck of a combination. Yeah. Yeah. Before you get into that big stuff, though, what are you looking forward to tonight? Dancing, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm really hungry, so the food. Yo, I am starving, too. <laughs> I, I'm eating like, all day. Like, as you guys say, I'm, like, literally starving. Yeah. You don't say that. Though. I, I don't know. Bree, you were in public speaking. I was, yeah. Would you like to say anything to the beautiful North Penn community about what they're going to be seeing here tonight at the prom? A, a lot of fun. Yes, Bree, <laughs> a lot of fun. Put me on the spot there. I know. Well, that's what it's all about. This is, this is like on the spot television. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> Came um, up with three words. <laughs> yeah. And we got a big lot of stuff coming up, right? we got graduation, reflections, like all these things coming up. What are you looking forward to about the end of the school year? Um, I just want to enjoy my summer for once, you know, not worry about what classes I got. It's a great just idea. Just hang out with my friends, you know. And you're going to be busy probably every summer after this doing internships and all yeah. kinds of stuff, so enjoy it while you have it, right? Yeah, enjoying it. Puri, any summer plans? Sleeping in. Sleeping in. Yes, it's yeah. a great idea, Puri. Mm -hmm. But not too late, you know, because, like, it's summertime. you got to get out there and enjoy That's it. That's true, yeah. Right. Well, you guys have a great time tonight. Thank right. you. Thank you, you too. Somewhere out there in the North Penn community right now, Amy Agris is sitting back watching TV. Maybe she's got a little iced tea in her hand or maybe something a little stronger because for her kids, you got a little something stronger. Right? And she's watching the show and she's saying, thank God my daughter came on camera. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the queen, the homecoming queen herself, the lovely Molly Agus. Molly, welcome to the senior prom. Thank you. Thank you for that introduction. You're welcome. We're going to get to your date in a second, but okay. let's start with you. Molly, you write for the Night Crier. Yes. You play tennis. Yes. You're the homecoming queen. You do all this great stuff. What are you going to do next year? It's a great question. Yeah, I'll we're looking for an answer. <laughs> I'll just have to get involved in Millersville, I guess. Yeah, well, find what some new clubs. What are you going to major in at Millersville? These people don't even know um, you're going there. I'm yet. majoring in middle middle level education with the plan to my master's in guidance, so I can oh. be a guidance counselor. Oh, you can be a guidance counselor. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, all right, let's talk about the guy next to you because, as you know, I'm a big fan. Yes. All right, so introduce us to this handsome gentleman. Um, this is Juan Fernandez. He's my date. Yes. Now, Juan. Tell the beautiful fa uh, friends and family in the North Bend community, how long have I known you? Um, since I was seven or eight, maybe. Yeah. I want everybody to picture this. Like, picture a kid eating a bowl of Frosted Flakes, <laughs> upon which he has dumped five cups of sugar, okay? And then down six Red Bulls, and you put him on a baseball field and try to teach him how to feel ground balls. That was one. <laughs> like, just all over the place. But now he's like this mature, easygoing, laid-back kind of guy. Is that about right? Is that a good way to describe it? I think so, yeah. All right, Juan, you also write for the Night Crier. I do, yeah. And uh, what are you going to do next year, my friend? Uh, I'm going to Pitt, and okay. I'm going to major in political science. Oh, are you going to maybe, like, run for office someday? President Fernandez? <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Okay. I would like to see that. Molly, would you vote for him? Sure, yeah. I would vote for him also. What are you guys looking forward to most tonight? Uh, dancing. Yeah. Good idea. That'd be great. Same. Now, I have one last question. I haven't asked it yet. I've been wondering. I haven't said anything. How did it end up that you guys decided to come to the prom again? Um, I don't know. We were just, we became better friends during Night Crier. Yeah. And you sit across from each other. Yeah, we do. Have you, like, been staring at each other all year, picturing this night? For sure. Yeah, the whole year. Oh, I have one other question. I understand that you promposed on a roof. Yeah, yep. Tell us about that. So I made a sign that said, are you up for prom? And I got a bunch of balloons and I put them on the roof. And I sat on the roof and I held my sign. And it was great. Take you a long time to think about that? Yeah. Pretty sure Emily Dobbs came up with that. Oh, Other shout out to Emily Dobbs. Editor. Where is she? Not She's here. hiding, I think. She's hiding. You better yeah. find her. Oh, ah! I'm getting the wrap-up sign. That happens every once in a while. You guys have a great time tonight. Thanks. Thank you. I'm standing next to Bobby Dockery. Now, the interesting thing is we just talked to the homecoming queen, and now... We're talking to the homecoming king. All right. Bobby, I don't really have any questions for you because whenever I ask you, you're going to talk for 45 minutes. So why don't we just start out by you telling us a little bit about yourself and about this beautiful woman standing next to you. Okay. I'm Bobby Doherty, and I decided to bring my wonderful friend Tia. She's not even the date. My date's over there. So I'm having fun tonight. It's wonderful okay. atmosphere. I got to be with you. What I mean, that's, that's like Christmas morning. You know? What is there not to enjoy? Yeah, I know. I thought you said you were wearing a tiara tonight. Um, my sister's holding it so I can stay clean for the interview. Okay, okay. How'd you guys get here tonight? Um, our dad drove us in the Escalade. Oh, a little Escalade, huh? The big Escalade. Okay. Tinted windows? Yeah. Okay. That's a lovely red dress you're wearing. We always like a lady in red. It's a... Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and the shoes? We changed it up. We're not wearing a dress. Are they? We got Jordans. They... That is classic stuff. Are, they, can we, are we getting a shot of the shoes? That's great. That's classic. It really matches quite well. Thank you. Um, and, and the tiara you have there yes, is very nice, I too. I have to be one of Bobby's princesses. Once once you're a part of the court, you are always a part of the court at North Penn. And you you're, like to be a part of the court. We're all royalty at the yeah, end of the day. Yeah, you are royalty. Did you have your coronation last week along with King Charles? No. It was all about him. He deserves okay. something amazing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. 
Uh, what's going on next year for you? Um, I'll be going to Widener. I'm going to go for creative writing, business, and art minor. Pride of the Lions, right? Yes. How absolutely. about you next year? I am a junior. Oh, that's so your junior. I will that's be great. Here. You get to come all over again. I get to come all over okay. again. Okay. I have to say, this interview was a little more low key than I expected. <laughs> Hey, you said you want to keep on the low, so I get to give you on the low. But right. you still know it's going to be fun. It's Saturday, and who doesn't love it? Saturday night in Drexel Hill, baby. Let's go. All right, have fun. Thank you. I wish you all the best. No, Bobby, I wish you the best. Thank you. last year and and now they're standing here by the way looking way more stunningly beautiful than I've ever seen them before as is the case with the prop right so you guys have to get a little closer you're like drifting far do I smell bad or something all right Nafisa Nafisa tell us what you are looking forward to most tonight I'm having fun with my friends okay Kara food food popular answer okay yeah um and what are you doing next year Kara? um so i'm gonna go to juniana college okay um, i'm gonna be a goalkeeper for field hockey there oh okay yeah we got our workout plan last night so tomorrow i'm running get started <laughs> now get ahead of the game right yeah and uh i'm planning to study environmental science okay and nafisa how about you next year i'm gonna go to penn state and i'm studying in business you're not gonna study the art of anime you no. always talk about it but I think you should watch some animes. No. No. Um, Nafisa wants me to watch anime all the time, and I think it's nothing but a bunch of people screaming and yelling and flashing in front of the screen, and so I just want to watch okay. it. Okay. That's what some anime. Minecraft? I don't even know what that is. I mean, I know what it is, but like, I can't. Why is that video game? How about baseball? No. You don't even coach a baseball. You already do that all the time. Why not switch it up? I don't like to expand my horizons very much. Oh. All what right. about Animal Crossing New Horizons? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. No. Uh, what was your favorite part of English class? Annoying you. Annoying me? Yeah, you did a good job of that. Um, kind of the Scarlet Letter. Oh, Yeah, I okay. like that book. That was well, you good. don't get that answer every day. Yeah. All right, well, do me a favor. Have fun tonight and do not turn into a Hester Prynne. I will not. All right. TV and theater type people, and they just want all the attention. All right, let's go down the line. I want you to do two things. You're going to tell everybody in Lansdale and surrounding community who you are, what you do at North Penn, everybody. and what you're doing next year. All right, here we go. All right, I'm Risa Frost. I do MPTV as a career study student at uh, the high school, and I'm going to Hofstra for film and television. Wonderful. I'm Audrey Keller, and I do MPTV also as a career study student and North End Theater, and I will be going to Penn State for film production. All right. I'm Holly Marlin, and guess what? I also do MPTV as a career study, and I also did Frozen, the Broadway musical at North End High School. And I am going to Hofstra University with Reese Frost as my roommate, majoring in TV film. Do you feel left out that um, you're not going I, to Hofstra University? Well, I could have. And that was the plan, but then I switched. It might be too much. My, my too brother much. goes to I don't, wanna, I don't know if we want to do that to Hofstra. All <laughs> yeah. three of you? I, yeah. We'll see. Um, you know, you guys are, like, on the screen a lot, right? Yeah. Tell me what it is that you've gotten out of the NPTV experience most. What are you going to remember the most, and what are you going to take with you the most? Oh, definitely walking down the hallways and people being like, that was a funny dude report, or 
saying something that I embarrassed myself, but I say, I don't care, it was still fun, and you're still watching. Do you ever get people that like don't want to be on camera, they run away from you? Oh yeah, and yeah. we just don't put them in, or they'll say, can you cut that out, I actually didn't like what I said or something, and I say, yeah. okay. High standards, these people, right? Yeah. Audrey, your time at North Penn, what are you going to take out of it the most? Um, I built a lot of great relationships with a lot of great people, especially through MPTV with Mr. Brumball. I love him. Brumball Challenge, tight. bet you didn't know that, now you do, right? Thanks for playing. Yep. Holly? I agree. It's these girls. This is what I'm taking out of North Penn, is lifelong friends. BFFs forever? Forever. All right. Well, have a great time tonight. Thank you. Take the dance floor by storm. Oh, and yeah. And you don't have to work tonight for MPTV. You're off tonight. I saw Owen Carlin. Owen Carlin, yeah. Filming, and I was like, yeah. oh, thank God. Well, I, know, I, I know. I was like, somebody's got to work. My God. All right, have a great time. Thank you. three people because I feel like we get a lot out of it, right? So like, what I'm gonna ask you to do is, I'm gonna actually do something I hardly ever do. I'm gonna actually pass the microphone down. Please, please be very careful with it, use it very wisely. I want you to tell everybody who's watching at home who you are, what you do at North Penn, and third question, what you're doing next year. Uh, hi, I'm Nicholas Nardone. Uh, you may probably know me from me doing all of the theater shows at North Penn. And uh, shout yeah. out to Miss Roney. Yeah, shout out. And um, <laughs> next year, I'm going to be going to Savannah College of Art and Design with a major in animation and a minor in musical theater. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you. Right down the line. All right. Hi, I'm Liv Asbury. I'm a senior at North Penn. I don't really do much, but I have been in choir the last nine years, so I feel oh, like that's okay. really that's something. something. Yeah. Um, and next year, I'm just going to take some time to figure out what I want to do, because I honestly still have no clue. <laughs> figure it out and do it right the first time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. For sure. Hi, uh, I'm Cassandra Amador. I'm a senior here at North Penn High School. Um, many of you probably don't know me, but I'm the vice president of SGS. Um, and my hope is SGS to SGS vote... is at the Simulated Gaming Society. Yes, that's the Simulated Gaming uh, Society. Is Mr. Young still the advisor yes. of that? Yes. He's like long time SGS Yeah, advisor. for yeah. sure. We love him. Um, and my plans are to go to Icardia and major in computer tech. All right, and we're going to stay, keep the microphone. Yep. We'll come back down the line. Tell us what you're looking forward to most tonight. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to I've already done it. Uh, meeting some of my old friends. Um, I've been meeting classmates that I haven't seen in forever, and I haven't had class with, so it's a great reunion. Good. Um, I'm probably looking forward to the music and just having fun. You know, honestly, I'll take any excuse to just make myself feel like a princess. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm looking to both what they said and the dancing that's going to go on tonight, because I know people are going to dance, and it's going to be so much fun. All right, Nick, ladies, enjoy. Have a great Thank time you. to see your prom. couple here tonight. I'm going to have you introduce us to yourself and your lovely date. Um, I'm Vincent and this is Natalia. All right. Since you stole my microphone. Oh, um, so no, 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 please. So you sorry. have it. It's my gift to you. Okay. For like the next 30 seconds. Um, tell us. Yeah, I don't need to talk. I have another. See this oh, one here? Okay, I'm so okay. special. I got my own. Okay, okay. Um, tell us what you're looking forward to tonight the most. I'm looking forward to dancing and eating. I'm looking forward to dancing the most. He's a really good dancer. Is that a fact? Yeah. Should we see some of that right now? I don't know. No. I, I, I need some music. I dance for uh, multicultural night. Oh, back really? In March. Yeah. Okay. So there's probably footage of that somewhere. We can probably is. watch that. Yeah. Maybe on the YouTubes or something. Um, where did you get your lovely navy blue dress? Um, actually, I thrifted it. It was only thirty-five dollars on the real real so you can get like designer dresses for cheap Wonderful. and this one like fit me like perfectly look in this day and age you got to be smart with your money that is very smart it's a money. sue wong original too oh wow i don't even know what that is but it sounds really impressive i don't know i looked it up and apparently okay. it's a real deal how about the suit um i'm not gonna lie 
Okay. No, I don't want you to lie. We don't nah, like liars. Me and my dad are like the same measurements, so it's my dad's suit. Shout but out to I your dad. Great in it. Shout um, out to your dad for being the same size. Shout out as to you. my dad. Yeah. All right. Um, what are you guys doing next year? Next year, I'm going to MIT. MIT for what major? Um, engineering. That is extremely impressive. I'm going to Delaware Valley University for biochem. For biochem, wow. That is a really nice combination. Two schools very far apart, two great majors, two great futures, right? Very good. We love it. This very is what North Penn's all about. We have brilliant students in North Penn that are going to do great things, and you guys are an example of that. I'll see you at Yash. I mean, I'll see you at MIT, Yash. Is Yash here anywhere? I don't Yash, know. Yash. All right, have fun, guys. Right? I am aware of Scranton in the office. Yeah. I maybe I maybe see Jim Halpert there. I don't know. You might, except might. we know that that's TV only, right? Sadly, sadly so. Northeast PA, though, good people up there. I'm very of, excited. A lot of family up in Northeast PA. Maybe I'll see right. them. You might. <laughs> next. Uh, I'm Clara Burnell. I'm going to Millersville next year to study sports medicine and run track and cross country. And awesome. I'm looking forward to just hanging out with my friends. All right. Excuse me for one second. Excuse me, can you guys move away from the camera, please? Thank you so much. Sometimes you got to take over a little there bit. All right, by the way, Millersville, out among the Amish. Yeah. Awesome, beautiful country out there, right? <laughs> and down the line. I'm Emily Donahue. I'm going to Ithaca College for communications journalism, and I'm looking forward to hanging out with my friends. My man Jack Picozzi is also going to Ithaca <laughs> next year, yes. Yeah. All right, these are great ideas, have great futures. Let's take the mic back here. <laughs> And let's talk a little bit about Doug Kyle. Uh, let's talk about Doug let's Kyle. Let's talk about Doug Kyle. We should, we should. Like, what do you think about Doug Kyle? Doug Kyle is a great man. He's also my father, for any of you out there who didn't know. Yep. And he is he is close buds with my, fr with my friend here, Mr. Monero. What's he doing right now? Right now, he was actually my chauffeur tonight, so he's hanging out in the car, waiting for us to be is done. He is he, le like, as you guys say, legit? Gonna sit out there all night? I think he is legit gonna sit out for a little bit and then he's gonna hang out with my mom for a little bit. Oh, okay. That sounds like a good time in the Kyle family. All right. Very good time. Have a great time tonight, ladies. We'll see you on the dance floor. See you, Serena. I am like blown away, impressed by the red, white, and black. Classic attire. Before we talk about you guys, what's black and white and red all over? A newspaper. Or a zebra with diaper rash. You didn't know that? Okay. Not. Introduce us to yourself and your stunning date. My name is Matt Landis, and this is Kaylee Hartman. Okay, Matt, when you pick her up tonight, what did you think? I thought she was absolutely stunning. I walked up to her front door and I was just blown away by how amazing her dress looked and how stunning she did her makeup and her hair and how great she looked tonight. Wow, that was like an essay question response. Like, where did you get your stunning dress? Um, We've said stunning a lot, haven't we? Have you, where did you get your elegant dress? Country Bride. Classic North Penn business, oh, yeah. Country Bride. Um, you want to do a little Selma spin for us? We call it the Selma spin. Don't yeah, worry about why. Right. Oh, now, that, now look at that. So tell me about your decision to go with the classic look. Well, um, I just fell in love with the dress, and you know, we have to base the tux off the dress. And so we just chose red as the kind of yep. accent color, so that's what we did. Now, I'm a detail guy, like I'm very detail oriented, so uh, Mr. Gilmer, if we could please, can we get a close up of the earrings? Because I think it's important to note that that also goes with the red and black theme, right? Yeah, I mean, we don't, don't forget. I didn't, I didn't miss that detail. Thank you. What are you guys doing next year? I'm going to Westchester, and I'm running track and cross country there. All left turns when you run track. That's my advice. That's right. I'm also going to Westchester, not because of him, but it's a great school. 
That's just a bonus. Rams up. All right, Rams up. Have fun, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. I always say it's the Gatsby look. All right. Gatsby. Introduce us to yourself and your beautiful day. I'm Gite Choi, and this is Emily Holleran. Now, Gite, I don't know if this is a personal question or not. Do you mind? No, it doesn't matter. Gite, your braces match the outfit. Okay. Was, that on, was that on purpose? Hear me out. I or did, did not, you revolve everything around the braces? I actually did not plan this out. It's just like, it was coincidental, but it worked out in the end, so I'm it's really a, happy about it. It's a good choice. Yeah, Where you. did you get the beautiful blue dress? At the Franklin Mills Mall. Oh, Franklin Mills, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. very nice. Yeah. Um, how'd you guys get here tonight? Our friend drove yeah. us. Okay, Our that's friend a drove us. common yeah. thing this year. You're like yeah. personal chauffeurs, right? Yeah. And what are you looking forward to most? What was that scream I just heard <laughs> in the background? Man, it's early for that. Um, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Dancing with Good my answer. friends, yeah. Okay. Honestly, the dancing and the food. I really want the chicken pasta. Oh, chicken pasta. I like that. Sounds good. What do you guys do at North Penn? What was that? What do you do at North Penn? North Penn, I do marching band. I was a drum major. Big and time. I'm in various clubs, and uh, I did track last year. Okay. I'm in um, class cabinet, and then I'm also in like link crew and. That's good. These are... I think I'm in something else, but I can't. <laughs> it's your, it's your, you got TV like shyness right now. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Uh, that's big time. You guys are leaders in the building. That's what we like. What are you doing next year? Next year, I'm going to Ohio State to major in biology. Oh, the Buckeyes, eh? Yep. That's Buckeyes. not going to go over too well when they play Penn State. Yep. It's not going to go well. Maybe I'll I, I'm going to Penn State. Oh, my gosh. This is so great. Well, We're in psychology. Nittany Lions all the way. No offense. <laughs> all right. Have fun, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Two great people standing to my left, and I'm going to have the gentleman introduce the lady, and then we'll get into all the details of the night. My name is Michael Dugan, and this is Kathleen McGill. Michael, how is it that you got so lucky to come to the senior prom with Kathleen McGill? Because you know that's like you're very lucky. Oh yeah, I know I'm very lucky. I'm lucky to go to prom with Michael Dugan. Oh, you're going with you're lucky to go with him. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that Kathleen McGill would say. Kathleen, Thanks, I guess. Yeah. you look stunning tonight. This is Thank not you. how you normally dress at school. Like, you look amazing. Yeah, I'm missing the unmatching socks with Disney characters and the baseball cap, the cargo shorts, and the graphic t-shirt. Yeah. Whatever. Michael, tell us about what you do at North Penn. Um, where to start? Um, do help around MPTV. I'm the floor director on the morning show. I also participate in North Penn Theater. Prop master, both on stage left and stage right. Um, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. How about you, Kathleen? Tell us about what you do at North Penn. So I like to play this game called Go to the Activities Fair and sign up for every club possible and see how many I can do. Uh, do you do have like, a count for this year? I think last year I signed up for 25, but only did like 10. But okay. I did like Live Club, Goodwill Ambassadors, Mini Fun. I did Spotlight for Cool. You're so, also a, a public speaking scholar. Yes, I was in your class. Tell us what you gave everybody in your last speech of the semester. Uh, I gave everyone a pet rock. I just went behind like that hill at Cape Cod after school and just started shoving a bunch of rocks in my backpack. Well, if you want some more, you come out to the baseball field. I can probably find a few more rocks for you. Yeah. All right, Kathleen, Michael, pretty in pink. Have a wonderful time tonight, and maybe we'll see you around Drexel Brook. Thank you, Sam. All right. All right, this is Michael, and we're done. See you later. No, just kidding, Michael. <laughs> Michael, tell us about yourself and what you're looking forward to tonight. I am looking to for have fun and mercy for the food. Michael, what do you do at North Penn? Some people might have seen you before. I North, I normally do North Penn TV, and yeah, you're on the morning show, right? Um, most sometimes, yeah. Okay. And you may just see me around the hallway. That's a great tux you have, Michael. The nice classic black and white look. I love it. Thank you. What are you looking forward to, Michael, about the end of the school year? Um, just really just Audi events and commencement. Good. And what do you think you're going to be doing next year? 
I'm playing heading to Marco for broadcasting for engineering. So. Very good. A lot of great choices. Mike will have the best time ever tonight. Thank you. So about a year ago, Noor was in my class and I had this nice, like, column. It was like a Greek column. We used it for public speaking. He knocked it over, smashed a million pieces on my floor, and I still haven't got a new one yet. Noor, do you apologize? I sincerely apologize, Mr. Monero. Okay. Never again. He came back to my class this year, so. I learned okay. from it, though. I came back, learned he how to speak. Back. That's true. That's true. All right, Noor, enough about you. You have a beautiful woman standing next to you, so introduce us to her and tell us how lucky you are to be here. Hey, guys, this is Adriana right here. Um, I'm very lucky to be here. You know, she's very beautiful. She's very nice. When yeah. you saw Adriana, when you picked her up tonight, right, mm -hmm. what was the first thought that you had in your mind? I had no reaction. I was speechless. I didn't know what to say. It's a good answer. Adriana, you look beautiful. Where did you get your dress? Country bride and gem. Great business. And how about those flowers? Did um, Nora get those for you? No, I got them from Sean Tilly Flores on Main Street. Oh, that's a very that's, nice yeah. people do a very good job. Right by the train tracks yep. there, right on Main Street. Good. Yep. Um, you want to take a little spin for us? Show us your dress. There you go. That's nice. Spin around. Good. 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 All right. Tell us what you're doing. Well, no, you want to say something? Go ahead. Best dress at prom. Best dress at prom. Tell us what you're doing next year. Uh, next year I'm going to Penn State. Main campus, I'm hype. Go Blue. Adriana, what are you doing next year? I'm going to Westchester for history and education and sec uh, school counseling. Oh, so you could be maybe working at North Penn High School someday. Hopefully. We would love to have you back. All right, have a good time tonight, guys. All right, another beautiful couple standing to my left. I just can't, you know, like everybody that comes on the show here, I just can't believe how awesome our North Penn students are. You guys look like a million bucks. Introduce us to yourself and your beautiful date. Hi, I'm Colin Hartgrader, and this is my date, Adriana Bevaquelli. You had just had two Adrianas in a row. What? Yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful blue dress, Adriana. Where'd Thank you get you. it? Thank um, you. It's actually, I borrowed it from somebody. Great, great use of it. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, tell us about what you do at North Penn. Um, you know, I'm a swammer, which a swammer? means... I'm done swimming, but I did do it all four years. Okay. Water polo. Can I tell a quick story? You know my friend Selma Robinson? Yes. I'm going to tell a Selma story. So a couple weeks ago, I haven't talked to Selma for like, I don't know, a long time. But I love Selma, right? I'm leaving the parking lot, and Selma's coming the other direction. And I called her, because I saw her. She didn't answer the phone. Like, you know she's in her car. You know her phone's ringing, right? The she didn't answer the phone. What do you think about that? I mean, I can't talk bad about her. She employs me in the summer, so. Well, let me tell you something about your boss. And then I thought, oh, maybe she was busy. She'll call me back. Two weeks have gone by. She doesn't she hasn't called me back yet. What do you think about that? I mean, I'll see her next week so I can talk to her about You tell that Selma, I am not very happy about her right now. I absolutely will. Okay. All right. What are you looking forward to most tonight, Adriana? Um, the music. What's your best, like, your favorite song to dance to? Oh, um, I like the spins by Mac Miller. Okay. They already How about played you, that. Um, Same? No, they already played that. You missed it. No, uh, it. they'll play it again. Um, <laughs> this is this dinner music. My favorite one has got to be uh, Mr. Brightside. Are you That's serious? A That's a great choice. That's actually legitimately good music. I like that. Uh, by the Killers, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And um, did I ask you this yet? Did I ask you what you're doing next year? No. Did I ask, oh, what are you doing next year? So I'm going to the University of Alabama for engineering. Roll Tide. Yeah. Wow. Adriana? Well, I'm a junior. Oh, so that's your I'll junior. Be in high school. And you'll Bye. maybe come to the prom again next year. Yep. All right. Well, you guys have a great time tonight. You Thank too. You. Welcome to the senior prom. Thank you. Are you excited to be here? So excited. Yeah. So am I. I circle it on my calendar every year. Tell us about yourself and your lovely day. Uh, my name is Scott Klein, and I'm actually a freshman in college. Whoa, Scott! Yeah. Yeah. Old head. Yeah, old head, yeah. Okay, and your beautiful day. And this is my beautiful day, Kayla Stressman. Kayla Stressman, I understand you're a three-sport athlete here at North Carolina High School. I am a three-sport athlete. Which three sports would they be? Water polo, swim, and lacrosse. 
water polo, swimming, and lacrosse. So you guys, lacrosse, you know you're in the middle of your season right now, actually getting to the postseason. Yeah. How's things looking? I'm good. We're, we have playoffs on Tuesday, first round. Against Upper Marion? Yep. By the time this show airs, that game will already be over, so we're just going to assume you want it. And you moved on from there. Yeah. yeah. So then we played Thursday. Okay. What are you doing next year, Taylor? I'm going to Bloomsbury to play lacrosse. So you chose lacrosse of the three. You prefer the land over the water? Yes. Okay. What are you doing with yourself right now? Uh, I'm currently studying mechanical engineering Ooh. at the University of Maine. Oh, University of Maine, huh? Yeah. A little chilly up there in the winter, yep. huh? Oh, and I'm swimming there, so. Indoors, of course. Of course, yeah. I, I really, you know, I like Maine. I would like to go there. It's beautiful. Yeah, Very I think beautiful. I would really like it there. Uh, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Uh, the Sunday bar. The Sunday bar. Oh, yeah. Me too. How about you? Well, you that, were here last year. That was mine, but uh, you can't I guess say the, something else. The dance floor. The dance floor. Yeah. Dance floor, Sunday bar. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. about your beautiful date well her name's Ashley Hickok and she looks amazing tonight she does Ashley where did you get your lovely dress I got it on revolve online okay awesome and uh, what are you looking forward to most tonight Ashley oh dancing 100% dancing um, and you decided to come to the prom with Ian yeah tell me about that decision-making process you went through. <laughs> well um, I, I I had no other options and I've been dating him for a little while I went with him last year yeah. He was a good date last year, so I, uh, pick, I picked him again. He's a pretty good guy, I would say. Oh, he's great. He he's was great. in my English class. Did you know that? I did know that. Yeah. You gave him a nice grade on the critical paper. Oh, I did. I yeah. did, yeah. Well, it's probably because <laughs> it was well written, and that's what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ian, what are you doing next year? Uh, I'm going to the University of Delaware to study chemical engineering. Chemical engineering in Delaware, okay. Yep. That's, that's like a great choice. I have a niece that goes to Delaware. Maybe that's you'll cool. meet her. Maybe. I'm going to the University of Connecticut to oh, double UConn. major in biological sciences and allied health. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. Huskies, right? Go, yeah, Huskies. go Huskies. All right, well, before you go to college, enjoy the prom, enjoy the rest of the year. Rampart Lane forever. Of course. Enjoy. Have a good one. Mr. Monero, how are you? Never had a bad day in my life, thank you for asking. Introduce all of Lansdale and surrounding area to yourself and your West beautiful day. West Ward, day. baby. Yeah, I'm West Danny. Ward in the house. West Ward. Mom, I know you're watching this. I have to throw it up. You'll be watching this in a week with all your friends. Uh, I can I'm, imagine, I can picture that, right? Like, all these parents, like, sitting around the West Ward, right? Yep. Like, somebody's probably got an outdoor TV, uh -huh. a fire pit. Like, I... That is what the West Ward is all about. All right? about. That's what it's yeah. all about. They do it every year. So I know my mom is watching. She watched it last year. Will uh, so. Selma be there? Selma, uh, maybe. Who knows? She I might just, make a guest appearance. I just told a story about her. I'm not happy with her right now. You're not happy with no, her? No, she dissed me. She what? dissed me. Wow. Yeah. Unfortunate. Okay. Anyway, enough about the West Ward. All right. Tell us about your beautiful date. Uh, this is Megan Fox. Uh, the, the famous Megan Fox, like yeah. the model. In the flesh. Megan yep. Fox? Okay. And uh, how did you guys end up at the prom together? How this all happen? Um, English class. Yeah, English class. Women's Voices with Miss uh, Siler. You know, Mrs. Siler brings everybody together. Yep. She really does. And English class is just like the great bonding experience. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. What are you guys doing next year? Uh, I'm going to Penn State for biocable health. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to Westchester. I'm swimming there, but I'm undecided on my major just yet. Okay. You're swimming there like when you get there, you're going to swim or you're swimming from here to there? Uh, when I get there, I'll be swimming oh, for the team. I yep. to make sure. Okay, yep. Rams up, right? Yep, Rams up. All right, guys, have a great time tonight. All right, we got a really, really outstanding dress. We're going to get to Jillian in her dress in a second. So first, introduce us to yourself and your beautiful day. I'm, I'm Logan. Logan Wrigley. It's always good to say your last name, too. Because, I know. Yeah. It gets the point across. And people out there are like, I know that family, yeah. right? Logan, tell us about your lovely date. 
Oh, this is Jillian Del Giorno, plays field hockey for North Penn. And um, yeah, great dress. Can I tell you a story about Jillian Del Giorno? Oh, I love her. She I was in you. my English class last year and she like barely talked at all. What are you talking about? I talked all the time. I know, but not in my class though. Now I see her and she's very outgoing and stuff like that. And everybody told me last year that she never shuts up. But I think something about my class just like brought out the quiet. Isn't that weird? That is weird. Yeah. Jillian, step front. We're gonna take a look at your dress. Give us a spin. Beautiful dress. Where did you acquire that beautiful dress? Gianna Rose. It's Ooh. in Yardley. In Yardley. Oh, all the way down there. Okay, yeah. good. And uh, come back up to the line here. We're getting drifted a little bit. All right. Um, what are you guys looking forward to most tonight? Um, probably dancing. Dancing? Yeah. Probably dancing. And tell us what you're doing next year. I'm going to Auburn University next year. Auburn? Yeah. Majoring in? Pre-medicine. Are you going to be a doctor? Yes. Dr. Del Giorno, I like the sound of that. <laughs> what kind of medicine do you think you want to practice? Uh, pediatrics. Oh, uh, now that's fantastic. What a great career. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to like say yeah. the but go ahead. Um, Penn State main campus, main campus next year, um, business school. All right, so you could be a doctor and a, and a businessman, right? Like yeah. some one person handles the money and one person saves lives. Exactly. Yes. I like that. Well, before you guys get into those great careers, enjoy the rest of your senior Thank year. You. Lots of great stuff to come and have a great time tonight. Black tie fair all of a sudden here we have the classic black and white. Introduce us to yourself and your beautiful date. Uh, all right, my name is Chase Tomorrow, and this is the beautiful Annabelle Smink to my left. All right, Chase, uh, when you picked up Annabelle Smink tonight, what was the first word that came to your mind? You know, I don't know if I'm allowed to answer that. You know, the word is stunning or beautiful yeah, yeah, or sure, shock. Sure, sure. Uh, any of those words are possible. Underwhelmed. Okay. Was Annabelle, come on in. Come on into the shot here. Okay. Not, you know she swings a bat, right? Oh, yeah. And she could probably no, knock you in the next week, so you better watch yourself. I'll go to the hospital right. soon. Whatever. You are. Yeah. Annabelle, you're in the middle of softball season. Uh, yeah. By the time this show airs, the regular season's going to be over. It's going to yes. be postseason yes. time. You guys, I don't want to even talk about your record. I'm, not, I'm a superstitious. Yeah. I'm not a little stitious. I'm superstitious, so I'm not going to say anything. But tell us about softball. It's going good. We're playing, uh, all the girls are doing really well, and we're yep. just having a lot of fun. It's a woman of few words right there. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing next year? I'm going to Drexel University to play softball. Awesome. And become a nurse. The Drexel Dragons. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Go Drags. Next year? Uh, the University of Alabama. I just talked to somebody who's going to Alabama. Yeah, I'm rooting with Roll Tide. Roll Tide. It gets a little humid down there, I think. Yeah. Make sure you bring your bug spray. Uh, I will. Don't worry. All right. Have fun tonight. Thank you. Justin Bieber, I mean Justin Egner, and the lovely Jocelyn Frannick. Big fan, big fan. Justin, I like the, the powder blue paisley. That's a very nice look. You know how to throw it on? Did Jocelyn pick that out for you? She did. I sent her some pictures of uh, white paisley, yeah. uh, light blue paisley, all black. This one came out on top. It's a lot better than the nonsense I've seen you wear when we go to Florida for baseball, right? I almost did throw the orange suit on again. We're going to get a close-up of the socks because they match. Very nice. All right, Justin, enough about you. Right. Jocelyn, you look stunning tonight. Thank you. Tell us what you're looking forward to most tonight. For tonight, probably dancing with my friends. Okay. Jocelyn, I have to admit, I feel a little old standing here interviewing you because... <laughs> Your parents are teachers in North Penn, and I remember when you were just like this little kid, you know, running around. Uh -huh. so, so thank you for making me feel old. I I'm sorry. That. I apologize. I know you can't help it. <laughs> Jocelyn, what are you doing next year? I'm going to Penn State for nursing. I like that. It's yep. a noble profession. Mm -hmm. Justin Agner, my little third baseman over here, what are you doing next year? Going to Thomas Jefferson to play some baseball. And to major in? Exercise science. Ah, yes. Physical therapy. Good. And joining our buddy Chris McLean there on yep. campus. Alumni, right. always. How'd you guys get here tonight, Jocelyn? Uh, party bus. Party bus? How was it? It was perfect. Were you guys listening to some country music on your no way down? I know you like that. I no wish. Shot. 
Jocelyn, I think you and I should be here, not Jocelyn. We're talking about who, who's your favorite country singer? Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean, good choice. It's all about horses and girls, I'm telling you. That's what did you just go. say? Horses and girls? Yep. All right, well, we're not going to get into this debate. We have it every day, so <laughs> have fun tonight. from the panhandle of Tall Benson Township. Yes. All right, Shane, tell us what you thought tonight when you saw Cameron in her beautiful tan and her bright red dress. Like, what was the first word that came to your mind? Beautiful, beautiful. Did you start singing that song, Lady in Red? <laughs> Did you know? Maybe I should have. Maybe you should. Maybe you're still, still time. The night is young. <laughs> um, Cameron, where'd you get your dress? Uh, Revolve. Revolve? Where's it's an online store. Okay, all right. Shane, where'd you get your classic tux? Men's Warehouse. I also went to Men's Warehouse. That's where I got this tie and this pocket square. Looks good. My man Ben Letcher works at Men's Warehouse. He sold it to me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, trivia question for you. All right. Where Men's Warehouse is, it used to be a department store, and it was really cool. Do you know what it was called? Toys R Us. No, that was next to it. <laughs> it was called Best. It was called Best. Ask your parents. Look it up. All right, uh, what are you guys doing next year? Uh, I'm going to Westchester. I'm going to Arizona State University. That's so far away. Yeah. Your poor parents are going to miss you so much. <laughs> Can I we'll come see. visit you in like December or January when it's like really cold? Sounds here? good. All right. Um, and uh, what is your most, uh, like, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Uh, dancing. <laughs> dancing? Dance for. Dancing. And Shane, baseball season is here. Tell us about the baseball squad a little bit. We're looking pretty good right now, looking to bounce back. Did we win uh, anything week? last week? Yeah, won the league last week. Yeah, Shane. All right, guys, have fun tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. Mario, welcome to the senior prom. Thank I like you. your glasses. Yeah, they're Versace. Versa Ooh, fancy schmancy. Talk about your beautiful date. Introduce us to her and tell her, tell us how beautiful she looks. Uh, she looks very beautiful. This is Kylie Holmes. You know, when I first saw her come out uh, today, I was like, wow, very stunning. Very stunning, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, Kylie, what do you think about this guy Mario here? Um, I know, you can just lie for TV. Uh, he's got he's got some nice glasses on today. He does. And his bow tie matches my dress. That's probably you're doing, right? You picked <laughs> nope. that out. All him. What do you call this color? Seafoam green. Olive. Olive. Sage green. Sage green. Okay. A sage green Prius parked in my spot a couple weeks ago. I wasn't very happy I don't about like this. Priuses. I know, right? And they parked in my they spot. Suck. Shout out to Pete Scro, Mario's dad. He and I used to work together at Genardi's West Point. Yes, sir. Yeah, I miss Genardi's, Way man. back, way back. The way back machine. <laughs> what are you guys doing next year? I'm going to England for a soccer. Whoa, that's right. We wrote an article yeah. about you in the Night Crier. Oh, yeah. Peyton Stagliano wrote that yeah, article. It was did. great. She did great. Mo, did you make a choice yet? Uh, Wait, you're, not, just, you're not sure no, yet. I, you I, have? Is this like, this is a reveal? Yeah, I guess this is a reveal. Uh, I'm going to be playing baseball at the University of Hartford next year. Hartford, Connecticut. Big announcement, everybody. Yes, sir. Big announcement. All right, well, before you move on to the future, have fun tonight. Yep, Thank we you. will. Thank you. All right, we are starting to run out of time, so we are doing double couples. I'm going to give you the microphone. Here's what you're going to tell us. You ready? I'll go slow. Your name what you're doing next year, and what you're looking forward to tonight. Let's go left to right. What was the last question? Oh, yeah. yeah your name, Yes. what you're doing next year, yes. and what you're looking forward to tonight. Gotcha. It's like an AP test. Okay. <laughs> My name's Robert Young. Um, I'm going to the Sales University next year, and um, just, you know, it should be fun. Robert, do you do anything in North Penn you want to talk about? Oh, you don't go to North Penn. I knew I'd never seen you before. Where do you go to school? The sales. Oh, the sales. Oh, you go to the sales. Mm -hmm. You should talk in the microphone. They didn't teach you that at the sales? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm Kira Holt. I'm going to Bloomsburg next year, and I'm excited to dance tonight. Kira, shout out to uh, anybody in North Wales? Miss Splendido and Mr. Crater. I was thinking more like your parents. 
Oh, yeah, and my parents, I guess. You want to name them? Alana and Donnie. Thank you. Yeah. And your brother? And Quinn, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Tough, tough crowd. All right. Next. I'm Jess. Um, next year, I'm going to a beauty school, and Ooh. I'm looking forward to... Um, Food, dancing, ice cream bar. Ice All cream. Bar. Ice cream. Okay. And at the end, I want... I like this. Like, I, I want to get one of those. Thanks. Yeah. I'm Aiden. Uh, tell us about yourself, Aiden. Anything you want to tell us? Um, what was the questions? Mechanic. What are you doing? What are you doing next year? Oh, uh, working. Where? Diesel mechanic. Diesel mechanic. Good stuff. What are you looking forward to tonight? Um, this glorious prom. Nobody's used the word glorious all night. That's so big. That's, I, I, that's yeah. all the stuff. Yeah. All right, you guys have a great time tonight. Enjoy yeah. yourselves. Yeah. I feel like we're on the family feud right now. Like, there's like when they put yeah. everybody together, they go running out. But the screaming, the screaming back there. Like, what is going on? It's a good all time. Right. I'm going to go right down the line. You're going to tell us. Ready for this? I'll go slow. First name, last name. Something you do at North Penn and what you're doing next year. Okay? Okay, perfect. Um, my name's Anna Evans. I swim, and next year I'm going to Westchester for swimming. You're going to swim at Westchester? Yeah. Rain's up. Right. I'm Chris. No last name like Prince. Um, last year I just got back from North Dakota. I had a good job out there, doing a little concrete truck driving. Wait, didn't I talk to you last year? Did I talk to you last year? Yeah, because I remember you going to North Dakota. It didn't work out. They actually invited me back. I'm officiating yeah. a wiffle ball league. It's a real man sport. It's not I, like baseball. I didn't believe anything you told me last really? year, and I feel like I don't even believe you this year. Like, you just went from driving... I believe the money. You just went from driving a concrete truck to officiating wiffle ball. That's where the money is. This I, is the weirdest night. Oh. Just before we go on. I'm sorry. The, the most bizarre and odd interview I've had, and I get to do it again this year. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't like boring, so that's good. Don't um, be boring. My name's Carter Vandermolen. I swim, but I also play chess at North Penn, um, and I'm a junior. So oh, I'll you're on the chess team. I am. Mr. Malarkey is the chess club. That's advisor. awesome. You guys had a great year. I don't, I'm not actually on the team. I, I play for fun. Like, when do you play? At lunch? Um... Usually in my study hall on F days, you can catch me seventh period in the senior calf. So if you think you can play chess, seventh period F day. Yes. Senior cafeteria, show up and bring your chess board. Exactly. Okay. And? I'm Eva. I swim and I'm going to University of Maine. Do you guys all have a swimming background? I think it's the chlorine. That's what I'm going to Too much chlorine is crazy. All right. Last thing, where did you get your dresses? Uh, the dollar store. The dollar store? You did not get that at the dollar store. That's not even possible. Um, <laughs> I stole mine. All right, kids. Here's my life lesson to you. Stay away from the chlorine, far away from the chlorine, and everything will be fine. Have fun. Thank you. Sixers and seven. Sixers and seven. Good luck. I'll, you want to introduce oh, yourself? Thought, no, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Introduce, say, introduce oh. yourself and your beautiful day. Hi, I'm Connor Murphy. I'm in Mr. Monero's sixth, no, fifth period uh, public speaking, and I have my girlfriend here, Anastasia. Anastasia, Hi. stunning dress. Thank you. <laughs> Where did you get that? Wind store. Yeah, what store? Wind store. Oh, wind store. Yeah, Where's that? In Willow Grove. Oh, of course it is, right? Yeah. This is a very nice combination, by thank the way. Like, you. who's responsible for that? Obvious it's his favorite question. color. It's a stunning color. I will tell you. <laughs> um, what do you do at North Penn? Anything special? Huh? What do you do at North Penn? Anything I special? go to CB South. Oh, you go to CB South. 
<laughs> I mean, good for you. We love CD South. How did you end up at, at the North Bend prom with this guy? Like original story? Yeah, original story. We That's met, what we're here for. We met at the gym. <laughs> uh, he has shown off his quads in public speaking class before. <laughs> Can you put up more weight than him? <laughs> no. Yeah. Maybe. Most of the days, Connor wears shorts to school so he can show off his, you know, his. It's not, that's not the intention. They're just comfortable. Yeah, it's lawn mowing season, right? Yep. You have a business. Yep. You want to advertise real quick? A uh, commercial. Trevco.com. If you need anything landscaping done. There you go. Free advertising. Have Thank a great you. time tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. James and I are sporting our gray tonight. We're looking good, but but the most good-looking person in the group is your date, right? My date right Introduce here, us to her, James. It's Olivia right here. Chicky. Olivia. She's looking beautiful. Olivia, you're a lucky lady. Yes, I am. Uh, James, I like the glasses. Are they Thank Versace? You. No, they're not. Because Mario Scro said his are Versace. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah, I saw okay. that. Yeah. James, you're a baseball player in North Penn, right? Yes, sir. Football player? Yep. Scholar? You say that. Some people say that. All right. Levy, what do you do at North Penn? I played water polo. Ah, water polo. I just talked to some of your fellow swimmer yeah. types. They're bizarre individuals. Yeah, right? they are. What are you doing next year? I'm going to Westchester for nursing. All right. James? I'm going to King's College to play football. King's College in Northeast PA, everybody. And what are you looking forward to most tonight? Just having fun with my friends, girlfriend, yep. everything. All right. Yep. Tonight? Um, I don't know, eating food. Can we talk about the tattoo on your arm a little bit? It's kind of nice. Thanks. Look at it. It's nice. Can you show the camera your lovely tattoo? I like that. Do you want to talk about it? Um, you don't have to, but you... Oh, well, you have two. Okay. Yeah. Um, this one's for my sister. It says your body was weak, but your spirit is eternal. And it has her name. And then the same flowers that are on this side are a half of the butterfly. That is stunning. James, do you have any tattoos? No, I don't. Not yet. You know, if we win a chip this year, I'm going to get one. I'm getting one, too. My man, yes, tattoos. Yes, All right, have fun, guys. All right, have a good one. Counting Crows has a great song. It's called Mr. Jones, right? You know that song? You know that song? Of course. All right. Um, introduce us to yourself. I'm Brian Jones. And Brian, you graduated. Yeah, I graduated last year. Yep, and yeah. you're a lucky man. Uh, of course. Because yeah. you were here with the great Jessica Michelle Wendowski, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, Tell yeah. us all about Jess. Jess is just the most amazing and beautiful girl ever. Mm. Did you ever notice that she has beautiful eyelashes? She does. She yeah. does. And she can sing. I think she should do wait, a... Wait a minute, what? Do you know she, she sings? No! You didn't know I she sings? Yeah, I've known her for three years. She sings. She's a great singer. Want to show us? No. Do I you think... want to come sing the national anthem for us at a baseball game? Um, I think I work oh. that day. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I don't think you work. I think you just no. use that as a reason to not do stuff. No. No, patience is all. She only works two days a week next week. Jess, where did you get your lovely red dress? I got it from Formals XO in King of Prussia Mall. All right. Jess, what do you do at North Penn? Um, I'm actually an associate editor on the Night Crier. And where can people read the Night Crier, just out of curiosity? Uh, Nightcrier.org. Thank you. Go read all the articles. What are you doing next year, Jessica Michelle Wendowski? I'm going to Westchester next year to study communications. A lot of Rams next year. Rams a lot of Rams. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, how would you guys get here tonight? Um, I drove I thought maybe Nissan. I thought maybe Chase Jones brought you here on oh, his yeah. four-seater bike or oh, something I like wish, that. Oh, I wish. I wish. Could you imagine pedaling? Like, that would be so great. That'd be a rough car ride. Uh, well, anyway, oh shout out to the Joneses, right? Yeah, Jones. Jess, uh, any final words before I let you go dance? Um, everyone have a good prom. And I look forward yeah. to you singing in class on Monday. Oh, yeah. definitely. See ya. to life. Secret to life. If you ever want to look tall, you find somebody that's a little shorter and you stand like this. 
Now, I wouldn't even say that, except... I, I wouldn't say that, but you, you said you wanted to be up front, right? Look, I have to become too strong, man. But look at this jacket, dude. I look know. Look at the jacket. I, don't, I mean, I don't see anybody else with rhinestones all over their jacket. All right, I'm going to have you guys introduce yourselves to us. We're going to go right down the line. What did you come from? Yeah, I just saw him. All right, well, you're going to all introduce us to yourselves. Tell us your first name, last name, and what you do at North Penn. I'm Michael Whirl, and I do Jared's say. Uh, I'm David Liu, and I'm in the Engineering Academy. Ooh, shout out to Mr. Boyer. Yeah. I'm a huge and I do, uh, I'm in career study for MPTV. MPTV in the house. I'm Amir Fairweather, and I'm part of the Engineering Academy. I like your last name, Fairweather. Yeah, no? There's some Fairweather fans out there sometimes that come to our baseball games. I'm Gabe Levy, and I'm also part of Jared's team. All right, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Last question, what are you doing next year? I'm going out to Colorado for college. Where at? I'm going to Colorado State University for okay. college. Okay, awesome. Um, I'm going to college to, uh, yeah, I'm going to York College in Pennsylvania. Yeah. The York paper, but you know what they have in York? They have a great traffic circle. Oh, God, Just go no. around and around no. and around as many times as you can. You're going to love it. I'm going to college for uh, communications at Ithaca. Wonderful. I know two people tonight that are going to Ithaca. I'm going to Drexel University for a computer engineer. Go Dragons. I'm enlisting in the military. Which branch? Air Force. Good luck, my friend. Thank you for your service Thank to you. come. Have a great night, everybody. Get out of here. I have 40 with me right now, right? Because they're all 10s. And I learned from math teachers like Margaret Marino that 10 times 4 is 40. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Where are your dates? We're the solo squad. Why are those guys so stupid to not be No, 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 no. I thought stupid. Oh. oh. He's just, I, I had to go with my friends. That was just, no. We all agreed to go by ourselves. Okay. Together, though. There's a lot of good, like, there's a good energy here. Oh, like, yeah. Good energy. yeah. Right. We're going to go right down the line. You're going to say first name, last name, what you do at North Penn, what you're doing next year. Oh, okay. Hi. My name is Maggie Schaefer. I am part of the field hockey team. I'm in SGA, National Honor Society, and Key Club. And next year, I'll be attending San Diego State University. Yo! Sunny in 75 Aztecs. every day in San yeah. Diego. Yeah, okay. Aztecs. Yeah, Aztecs. Aztecs. Okay. And I sewed this dress myself. Yes, you did not. Yes, I did. I made this myself the whole day. That is crazy. Pull out the right. t-shirt. Pull That's out the t-shirt. I made it myself, yep. In class at North Penn? No, outside of school. But I am in a clothing class. With Miss Townsend? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Um, my name is Becca Deal, and I play field hockey and lacrosse. Um, I'm class treasurer, too. And you used to come to my class from last year yes. and annoy us all the yes. time. Yes, yeah, yep. yeah, Not anymore, though. That's <laughs> besides the point. Oh, is there a reason why you don't come no, anymore? No, 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 no. Feels like a story to me. No. All right. We'll, <laughs> save, that. we'll, save, we'll save that for the sequel. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. And right. I'm attending Grand Canyon University next Woo! year. Okay. Yeah. Hello, my name is Isabella Greer, and I don't really do anything at the school. But I work outside of school. Where do you work? Spring House Estates. It is a nursing home, so I am feeding the old people, okay? And I'll be attending. So I'm going to, and I'm going to Drexel University. I feel like those poor old people, they never get to rest, I bet, you know? They don't. Yes, Drexel University for nursing. Go Woo! Dragons. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Let's go, baby! Okay, that just broke the camera. All right, and... Sorry. Hi, I'm Shulpa Canero, and I'm attending the University of Maryland next year. Go Terps. And I'm studying computer science. Roll Terps! Woo! Is that a thing, Roll Terps? If a Terp rolls over, it's not going to be able to get up. Roll Terps! Right? Oh, it's, gonna... yeah. it's a turtle. Like, it yeah. rolls. It's, it's dead. It's a Roll Terps. All right, we'll debate this later. See you later. Have a good time. Standing next to one of my public speaking scholars, Matt Kessler, so he's going to do a great job talking on camera as always. 
Matt, introduce us first to your beautiful date. All right, my name is Matt Kesser. I, I mean, said, oh, introduce I'm us the, I'm getting there. first to your beautiful yeah. date. All right, and tonight I'm here with Genevieve Brown, the amazing, the gorgeous. And Matt, tonight, all right, that's the sweet, like, I'll tell you, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on. Right. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, um, Genevieve. You know, as recently as just like a couple weeks ago, Matt didn't have a date. And then he shows up here with a beautiful young woman like you. How did this happen? Well, I didn't have a date either. And me and Matt, we dated in middle school. So we had, you know, it just fate full worked circle out. Moment. Yeah. You know, like middle school romances it came are back. so real. Yeah, it They're did. so real. It's and true. now look at you all. You probably look so different. I, we do, I yeah. think. You were probably we, all gangly and yeah. awkward back then, yeah, right? Six, four, five, hour, hour. He grew, yeah, a big difference now. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's, He's probably the same guy, though, deep yeah. down. Yeah, I think Genevieve, so. what are you doing next year? Next year, I'm going to Westchester for college. All right, Matt? I'm going to St. Joseph University. St. Joe's. Yep. Hawks and Rams, right? Yeah. And what cool. are you looking forward to tonight? I'm looking forward to the food and the music and just having a good time with all of my class. Good. Genevieve? I'm looking forward to the great DJ. Yeah. Well, I think I you're think going to so. find that it's going to be one magical evening. I think so. And I look forward to talking about it in public speaking right, I'll look forward to it on Monday. All right, have fun. Thank you. All right, I'm here with my friends, Julia and Abby. You might know Abby Plogger because she's always falling on the floor during basketball games. Like, you might not have ever seen her standing up. And uh, you might know Julia Shearer because nobody can hit her. As a softball pitcher, is what I mean. Okay, so, gentlemen, you have two very famous people with you tonight. Do you know that? Jackson, do you know that? Jackson, yes, that? yes. Jackson, tell us about yourself a little bit. Um, well, I'm very handsome, and um, I get really good grades, and I'm really cool. All right, and tell us about your lovely date. Julia is beautiful. I'm so happy to take her to prom with you. That was really inspiring, Julia, don't you think? Yeah, he's a, he's one with words. <laughs> yes, he is. Do you know that I have his brother in class right now? Yes, I do. Zachary Hatstad? Yep. Could you imagine what it must be like with the two of them, like, under the same roof? Chaotic. Chaotic. Julia, tell us about yourself. My name is Julia. I play softball. And my best friend is Abby Plogger. <laughs> Who wouldn't be Abby Blogger's best friend? Nobody. You, you do something else, too, besides play softball, don't you? And okay. I write for the Night Crier. I am uh, an editor of the staff, and I enjoy it very much. And next year you are going to? The University of Maryland. Yes. Jackson B. Hatstead, what are you doing next year? Penn State. Go Lions. All right, Abby. We are. We are. We are out of our minds. Okay. Abby, talk to, to Lansdale. Um... Hi, I'm Abby. You got that part right. I don't know what else to say. What are you doing next year? I'm going to Salisbury. Okay, and what are you going to miss most about North Penn High School? Oh, uh, Mr. Monero. That is the right answer, and I didn't even tell you to say that. Any shout outs to the bloggers? Hi, Mom, Dad, Steph, and Sam. Yeah, especially <laughs> Sam, right? No. All right, last guy. Oh, uh, I'm Nick Condis. I don't know if you know about me, but I'm going to Penn State too. Rooming with Jackson. Oh yeah. And are you guys also like the two of them? Are you like best friends? Yeah, we're best friends. Yeah. Day ones. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. All right. Well, make sure that you have no dull moments tonight. Have fun. Good luck. Be safe. And we'll see you all Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Not even a senior. I have no idea how he got so lucky to be here, but we're gonna find out. Okay, let's go down the line. I want you to tell us your first name, your last name, something you do at North Penn, and what you're gonna do next year. Okay. Uh, 
I'm Charlie Shaw and I do North Bend water polo and swimming. And next year I'm going to Shippensburg University and I'm swimming D2 there along with majoring in chemistry with a concentration in forensics. Ooh, you got your life all figured out. Yes. I love it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Layla Roby. I do swimming and water polo at the high school, and I also ran track my sophomore and junior year. And when I'm done with high school, I'm going to go to Arizona State University, and I'm going to study uh, nursing. That's also a great plan. Mm -hmm. Arizona State. Yep. It's a dry heat out there. It's a dry heat, they say. But it's warm. It's warm, I know, especially in like January and February. Mm -hmm. All right, no we'll come back to you last. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Danielle Ruby, and I do the career study program at Walton Farm, and I'm going to be a teacher at Westchester next year. Shout out to Walton Farm. You want to come back and teach in North Penn someday? Yeah, I do, actually. I want to teach in the elementary schools. Now, the thing is, if you become a teacher, you might have to have students like Chris Moore. <laughs> You're prepared for that? Of course. I'm prepared okay. for anything. All right, Chris Moore, what brings you here tonight? Uh, I already know my name. You said it like a thousand times. Chris Moore. I run North More run, or less. I run track at North Penn, and... Um, I'm going to be back in North Penn next year. And how did you get so lucky to have this beautiful day tonight? Um, I don't even know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. You just be count your lucky stars. I will. I am lucky. All right, Chris Moore, take care of these ladies. Be a gentleman. I will. All right. Have fun. I'm here with two handsome gentlemen. I'm going to give you each a chance to tell us three things, okay? Your first name and your last name, that's one thing. What you do at North Penn, that's the second thing. And what you're doing next year. Do you remember all that? Of course. I'll let you go first. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm Matthew Willis, and I learn at North Penn, and I also play soccer. You and, say you learn at North Penn? Yeah, you know, it's a great school, and, you know. You, you teach there. I do teach there, yes. Yeah, you were yeah. in my class last year. Learned learn a lot from you. Yeah, Matt, yeah, Matt. And uh, next year I'm going to Arcadia to play soccer. All right, Arcadia University, yep. home of the Knights. You're going to go from being a Knight to a Knight. I'm a Knight for life. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm Anthony Marasco, and I also learn at North Penn High School. What do you learn, Anthony, at North Penn? What's your favorite class at North Penn? Uh, mechanical drawing. Who's your teacher? Mrs. Young. Mrs. Julia Young. Yeah. And what are you going to do next year, Anthony Marasco? I'm also going to Arcadia. Oh, for, you guys going to be roomies? Yeah, for soccer. That's fun. Oh, you're yeah. going to be soccer teammates yeah. and roommates. And get some more learning in while you're there. Yep. All right. You guys have dates tonight? I do. Where are they? They're still at the table. The they ditched you already? Well, I hope you find them. This is what it is. We got a little sweet Caroline playing in the back right now. It's like nice, a good vibe. All right. Have fun, guys. Thank you. Principal, first time at the North Penn Senior Prom as the head honcho, Mr. Kyle Hassel. How's it going? What do you think so far? I think it's amazing. Uh, it's great to see all the kids here. Uh, everybody looks great. They're really excited, and I'm just looking forward to the night. So it's the end of the year. We got a lot of stuff coming up, and the prom is kind of like the kickoff to the whole end of the school year. So, what kind of other things do we have to look forward to? Well, I think you might know better than I do since I'm a rookie, but I would think it's the... Uh, yeah, but you're the boss, so... So we have senior awards coming up, obviously graduation, reflections. It's coming fast and furious now. So it is. Keystones it is. next week. I know everybody's not excited about those. That's like but, the uh, appetizer, the Keystones, yes. you know? Uh, so tonight, see your prom. You see everybody dressed up here. I mean, everybody looks a little different than they do on a normal basis. What, do you, what are your impressions of our students when they dress their finest? I think they, they, they look great. You know, it's good to see them outside of, you know, pajamas sometimes. That's right. Just coming. They look great. Everybody's been awesome coming in. It's been good to talk to them. And, yeah, they dress to impress. It's an impressive bunch led by an impressive leader. Thank you. Finishing out his first year. And rumor has it, rumor has it, he just signed a 15-year extension. He'll be here until we're all gone, right? That's right. See the renovation through, right? 15 That's years? Right. Renovation. So. That's right. Oh. I don't want to even talk Maybe. about that right now. <laughs> All right, Mr. Hassel, thank you so much. Enjoy yourself tonight, and hopefully everything goes on without a hitch. All right, thank you. All right. We've only had one interview so far tonight where we 
talk about this, so we'll talk about it again. It's the West Ward in the house, all right? Um, Aiden, before we uh, say too much, I want you to introduce us to your lovely date. Um, this is my girlfriend, Mia Sparango. Now, Mia, tell us a little bit about how, how lucky you are to be at the prom with Aiden Vegas. Um, I'm very lucky to be at the prom with Aiden Vegas. Now, Aiden, you tell us how lucky you are to be here with Mia Sparango. Oh, man. My brother goes to Notre Dame, Luck's in the family. So, very lucky. Oh, the luck of the Irish. Yeah. I, get, I get it. I get it. I see what he did there. Like, did you get that? Okay. Oh, oh he's lucky. Okay, he's lucky, it. right? All right, uh, Mia, where'd you get your stunning dress? Uh, it's actually my sister's from last year. The Bell Sparango? Yep, the, the Bell Sparango. How is my dear Bell Sparango? She there? is fantastic. She's Shout at, out to Green Bank Way, right? She's at the Taylor Swift concert right now. Oh, is that a fact? Yeah, I'm okay. a little jealous. All right. Yeah. Um, what are you looking forward to tonight? Um, hearing good music. Hopefully. This is the best music of the night is right now. Once you yeah. guys get on the dance floor, it all goes downhill. Yeah. Agreed. What are you doing next year, Aiden? Uh, I'm swimming at Westchester University. There are so many people here tonight that are going to Westchester. It's yeah, amazing. Lot, it's amazing. What about you, Mia? You're a junior? Yeah. I'll be a senior. Okay. Maybe you'll take my public speaking class next year? Yeah. For sure. Both of you. Both of you. Neither one of you. <laughs> neither one of you took my class. Miss Your class Dixon. seems Miss very Dixon entertaining. for life. Miss Dixon for Miss life. Dixon Mrs. Carrie Dixon life. for life. Shout out. Yep. She was going to come tonight, but what? I think it was too much oh, work yes, for her. She, she didn't show up. Yeah. She's so full. Yeah, yeah. She is. All right, guys. Have a good time. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, this is Jack. Apparently, Jack has three dates. For the yeah. prom tonight, that's what it appears anyway. Uh, Jack, first, tell us about these three ladies that you're standing with. Well, this is date one, date two, and date three. <laughs> okay, what are their names? Uh, couldn't tell you. Actually, just kidding. You just found this them in the parking lot on your way in? No, this is Claire, that's Katie, and that's Zoe. Is Claire an exchange student? Claire is a French exchange student. Claire, welcome. Or should I say, bienvenue? Yeah. Can I say that right? <laughs> okay. I speak a little French. Oompa. <laughs> Claire, this is an American prom. Oh, yeah, I see. What do you think about it so far? Uh, I think some dresses are interesting. Some dresses are interesting? Yeah. <laughs> but I think, I think okay. that's cool. Let's, let's go beyond the prom and uh, tell us what you, I don't know, what you enjoy the most since you've been in America. Well, yeah, uh, I enjoy the most my sport team. Okay. Cross country and track. What do you miss most about home? Uh, my Okay. Let's pass the microphone down. Tell us about yourself. First I, name, last name, what you do at North Penn, and what you're going to do next year. Okay, um, I'm Katie Tarlow, and what was the second question? Oh, my gosh. It's not an AP test, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. You, okay. You, oh, I got it, okay. What I are you looking forward to tonight? So, um... I'm just excited. Like, I can't believe it's senior prom already. Yep. Also, I remember. So I do track and cross country at North Bend, and I'm also in class cabinet. And then next year, I'm going to Mercier University, and I'm doing fashion merchandising, and I'm also running cross country. All right, that's a lot of stuff. Right, there we go. <laughs> she remembered it. Um, I'm Zoe Silva, and I do track and cross country as well at North Penn. And next year, I'm going to Florida State University to Ooh, major in Florida nutrition. State. Yeah, go Seminoles. Cool. I like your pearls. Thank you. <laughs> I watched this woman named Pearl that used to lean on her windowsill. Never mind, that's a whole other story. <laughs> uh, that's, I, I love your dresses. You guys look great. Thank you, you do too. Jack, thank you. You know, not one person tonight has told me this, so well, thank you so I'm much. I'm glad I can thank make you. you feel better. <laughs> all right, Jack, tell us all about yourself. So, a lot of people who watch MPTV, they might know you. I'm Jack. I, Bachman. I'm Jack, Jack Bachman. Bachman. I anchor the morning show sometimes, do the, 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 the shows, the musicals, yep. president of student council. Um, occasionally on the tennis team. It's a lot next, of stuff. Yeah, next year I'm going to Brown University. Big study, time. Yeah, study political science and something else. Who knows? You think you might want to be a politician someday? Absolutely not. I think I would be killed. So. I think we could use a nice American, you know, scholarly person from like Lansdale, PA, to be the president. I, I don't think. think I'm a nice scholarly person from Lansdale, PA. I don't. I think, think I you could sell do that. yourself short, Jack. Thank you so much, Mr. Renaud. I appreciate yeah. that. All right, guys, have fun tonight. Thanks, Thank Mr. Renaud.
a stunning couple. I feel like I'm saying that over and over again tonight, but it's the truth. Introduce us to yourself and your beautiful day. I'm Jada Manning. This is my good kid, Katie Barnes. And when you saw her tonight for the first time, what was the first word that came to your mind? Beautiful. Beautiful. Where did you get your lovely navy dress? Wow, that was crazy. Um, yeah. I actually got this from a prom pop up shop that I hosted at my school. Really? What school do you go to? I go to Shawnee High School, and I hosted okay. a prom pop up shop uh, in March. And I got who's this the from, most? Sorry, keep going. Sorry, keep going. Got this from the pop up shop for okay. only forty dollars. That is like smart shopping right there. Who is the most famous athletic alumni of Cheltenham High School? You're testing me. I am. He was a major league baseball, baseball player. player. His nickname is Mr. October. I know you're talking about. I know he played baseball. That's all. I don't know his name. Reggie Jackson. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, right. I know that. I Next knew that. time somebody asks you, you'll know. Reggie Jackson. Okay. I knew his name, but I just could, I knew he played baseball. Fair enough. You want to give us a little Cheltenham spin? Stunning. Stunning. Yes. Now let me ask you a question. I always like to ask this. How is it? that you had to go all the way to Cheltenham to find a date to do a Penn Senior Prom. Was she just way more stunningly beautiful than anybody in Lansdale? Is that what it was? Oh, uh, yeah, pretty much. And, you know, this is my girlfriend, too, so. How did you guys meet? For a few months. At a gala. Oh, yeah? Yes. How long ago? A year ago? A year? No, I don't think it's been a year yet. Okay. Maybe, like, yeah. almost a year. No? A year. No. I feel like, like it's a good seven. story. I feel like it's a good yeah. story. Yeah. What are you looking forward to most tonight? Um, dancing. Having fun. You will definitely do that. What are you doing next year? Next year, I plan on going to Widener uh, for engineering. Okay. Are you a senior at Cheltenham? I am a senior. What are you going to do next year? I'm going to Arcadia to study business. Okay. Arcadia Knights. Arcadia You're Knights. not a knight now, but you will be next I year. I will be next right. year. Have fun tonight. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. All right. I am here with three incredibly beautiful young women tonight. And I'm going to have them introduce themselves to you. So here's what you guys are going to do. Ready? First name, last name. What you do at North Penn. And what you're doing next year. Yeah, think of something. You're last, so you have some time to think about it. Why does it hurt the past time the Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's not a trick question. Oh, can I start? Oh, yeah, um, we're live. Um, oh, my name is Giordano Slama, and I do, like, a little bit of everything. And you're only a junior. Yeah, I'm only a junior. I do a little everything. I'm a vice president of AAAC on the uh, ECI school board committee and VP of the junior class. And next year, I'll be a senior, and I'll be applying to colleges. How, as, how is it that you got the lucky turn of events? that you came to the prom as a junior. I know, it's so lucky to be here at prom as a junior, and I'm so excited to be here next year because I'll know everything. This is like your practice prom. Yeah, it's like my practice run yes. through. All right, pass them on down here. We got we got a Shirley Temple in the house here, by the way. Who doesn't like a nice Shirley Temple? Hi, my name is Maimuna Diara. Um, I'm part of Chamber Singers and Troubadours. I'm also part of Triple AC. Do and you want to sing for us? Huh? What? No. Come on! Everybody no. I've ever met who sings never does it when I ask. It's no. Crazy. Um, next year I'm going to be a senior and taking a lot of APs and applying right. to colleges. You guys, you guys are both having a little time to think about this. What's your dream school? Howard University, the Black Ivy. Okay. Um, Columbia University. Ooh, I've or been Boston there. Boston University. Columbia, beautiful campus. Hi, my name is Mariha Shoyev. Um, I'm part of CAB for Bengali Club, and next year I'm going to Drexel University for nursing. All right, so one senior among the three <laughs> yeah. of you. Okay. Who's the advisor of the Bengali Club? Miss Rook. Say hi to Miss Rook. Hi, Miss Rook. I She's love you. She's probably watching it. You're amazing. PA. You're right. amazing. <laughs> Have a great time tonight, ladies. Yeah, of course. If you've been sitting back watching tonight and you've been saying, oh my God, where's Amy Young? Like, there's something missing from the show. Did she get fired? Did she resign? Is she part of the writer's strike? Like, what happened? Well, no. None of those things are true. Um, Amy and I decided that we needed to spend some time apart. <laughs> and she decided that since this is her senior prom as a class advisor, that she best not be on air too much. But we found her. So here she is. 
I am senior here. class advisor, Amy Young. Yes. Her co-advisor, Chris King, is here somewhere, but he's probably either say, having his second dinner <laughs> or he's just going around and BSing with everybody, right? We don't know. <laughs> um, but Amy's here. Amy, what I'm a here. stunning night. It's, I used the word stunning 755 times tonight. If anybody's playing a game at home and they're waiting to hear that word, they're probably in bed. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Get it? I get right. it. So anyway, what... Um, What's going on, Amy? It's the senior prom. What, what have you noticed? So, tonight? 2023 senior prom. Very excited to be here again. Yes, no roaming photography with Mr. Berger or video or interviewing the kids. I was outside with tables and checking. I was check so in. busy checking people I in. I was, but what a gorgeous night. We're super lucky. All the kids have arrived. Everyone looks beautiful. Lots of pastel dresses this year. Lots of excitement. And for the first time in a while that I can remember, Selling tickets, it was a lot of groups of friends coming to the prom together. They wanted to sit with their friends, not necessarily yeah. have, quote, a date. Just come as groups of friends, which I love. There's nothing think, wrong with being single, no. folks. There's nothing. It's totally normal. And they were so excited to buy tickets together and just do it as a big group, which I love because... I love my friends, and I just think it's so fun. So yes. that was exciting. You know, we got a couple friends watching tonight. Um, Mary Jo Dooling and Judy yes. Hamilton. Uh, they're when, when they're sitting back eating their popcorn. Uh, our friends Bev and Tom McGuire. They might still watch the show. I, I was just going to say two of anymore. my favorites, Bev and Tom yeah. McGuire. Now that Bev's retired, yes. she might be in the Caribbean somewhere or something like Living that. Living her um, best life. But they love watching. So like the community's out there. What best. else can they look forward to about the end of our school year? They'll be seeing a lot of other events on it. They TV. will. They will. So obviously the prom tonight. We have class night coming up, which is on a Friday night for the seniors. Uh, reflections the night before graduation, yep. which is June 13th. That's for uh, the senior class, their friends and family to attend. And then, of course, the big event, graduation. Yes, yes. Maybe uh, maybe Cindy Monero will be watching. She's getting knee surgery this oh. week. So when this show appears over and over and over again in the summer, she'll have something to watch. Uh, my friends Dick and Gladys Ditzler are probably watching. Mm -hmm. over, right, right. They're over there, be watching. And, oh, wait a minute. We Breaking news. What? A, Chris King has left the dining room. <laughs> And he is joining us on the show. Mm -hmm. um, I'm to borrow this from you yeah. here. Uh, Mr. King, you are also our class advisor here, and it's like Ms. Young here. It's not your first the rodeo. <laughs> no, um, it is not. So talk about, you've seen a lot of proms. I have. What's different? What's the same? Well, we've changed venues over the years. Uh, the food's always a little different. Uh, but th we've been here before. This is a great facility, and I just I think it looks wonderful. And. Uh, you have a lot going on in, in, in your, as a senior class advisor. You guys are both very busy. You were at Disney, right? We're yes, Disney, Disney, Disney was wonderful. Um, you have end of the year activities coming up. You Reflections, also do, you also class do, night. You do a little public address for the baseball squad. I, I do. I do. I love yep. to announce for the baseball team, coached by Mr. Kevin Manera. Do a, little, do a little track officiating, right? I do a little track officiating. As do I. As does Amy. As does our good friend, the lovely Linda Law. Hello, Linda Law. 50 years in North Penn. How about it? Right? Yeah, there you go. It really right. Yeah, I help, I help you do the football games. That's right, my spotter. And I do the girls' basketball games. What don't we do? I don't know. We do. I love this place. Right, I love um, North Penn. So anyway, last thing. We're going to wrap it up here. Uh, you're going to see everybody out here dancing now. You're going to see. Just tell us just really quick what goes into planning a massive prom for a thousand <laughs> student class. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Well, where do I begin now? I say every year, planning the senior prom is like planning a wedding for a thousand of your closest friends. So if you've been married or planned a wedding, times that by a lot, and that's what a senior prom is. You know, Amy, I was at your wedding. I don't remember a thousand friends. I do not have a now. thousand friends, but yes, you were at my wedding. Um, she has one friend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's great. It's like just a lot of organization. Mr. King took the kids down to do a tasting. They picked the menu out together. That was we, a sacrifice of a day. It, it was a tough day for them. Oh, sorry, guys. I got to go do a food tasting. We do the tables, and that's what the, where the uh, senior prom is different than the other dances because the kids sit and they pick their tables because it's a sit-down meal. Yep. So that takes a little more organization. But like I tell the kids, it's like a wedding. You never know when you go to a wedding who you're going to be sitting with. Sure. Um, you're sitting with your guests, whoever you decide to bring, or your group of friends, and you just go with it. So it's fun. It's like a wedding at South Fork Ranch in Dallas, you know, Texas. That's an inside story mm -hmm. there. Um, what else, Mr. K? You, you've been here. You've done it. Um, is it I, stressful? Is it fun? Like, yes. Talk about it. Uh, at the end of the year, the end of senior year is very stressful from the senior trip on. There's so many events that we're planning. We're also very excited um, and also a little bit sad. It's melancholy always to see kids that you've gotten to know yeah. over the three years. Melancholy is a pretty on. big word for a science teacher. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good. 
Um, well, Sorry. You know, I, I hear you teaching these vocab words to the kids in English class. But uh, I know yeah, you, it's, you it's have a few favorites, I know. Yeah, there's, it's, it's a wonderful experience. I, and just seeing the kids go through all three years, it's just so nice to see them grow and mature and turn into young adults and yep. move on. Mr. King looking very calpigious tonight. Yes. <laughs> um, when did you start advising? What year? The first group I did was in 2007 with you. So that's what I mean. We've been I've been advising since 2004, the class of 2004. When I think about that, I'm like, mm. oh my gosh, that's 20 mm. years of advising. So we wouldn't do it this long, mm. honestly, if we didn't love wow. it. It's so years. fun. It's a nice break in the day. Um, the kids are wonderful. Yeah, and the kids are so appreciative. They know. Um, the time and just that we have this passion for this. So that makes it all worth it. Think about all the people that have come through our lives here at North Penn in the last 20 years. I mean, what a collection of people. It's Some real wild classics. when you think Some about it. Classics, I mean, yeah. where did 20 years go, honestly? Yeah. It's, it's wild. Like so. that. You were with Mary okay. Wilson for 2004. Yep, yep. Shout out to Mary Wilson. Yeah. She might be watching. She could be. You never know. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you. you pulled it off. I hope everyone enjoys it. It looks like everybody's having a great time. And it's all yeah. because of dedicated advisors like the two of you. Oh, thanks, Kev. All right. Thank you, Mr. Bernard. Well, it is that time of night. We are wrapping up here at Drexel Brook. We hope you enjoyed all the interviews we had for you tonight. As you can see, North Penn High School has an incredible student body. They clean up really well. They have incredible plans for the future. Don't worry, the kids are all right, and the future is in very good hands, as you saw tonight here at Drexel Brook. We're getting down to the end of the school year, as you heard, there's a lot of things coming up. Stay tuned to MPTV for all those wonderful things. But most importantly, whether you're at a watch party right now, whether you're on the couch curled up with some popcorn and maybe like a little soda pop or whatever you're doing, maybe you're sitting in your chair or maybe in your living room, you have an exercise bike that you sit on as part of your furniture. I don't know what you all do, but I hope that you enjoyed tonight's senior prom because as always, we love coming to you every year from Church Street to Birch Street, from Rosemary Way to Rampart Lane and everywhere else from the school district. Enjoy tonight's show. We hope you enjoyed tonight's show. And we also hope you enjoy everything that North Penn has to offer all year long. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great summer. And we look forward to seeing you again next year right here at the Senior Prime. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Gatsby. 
You're right. You're right. Beep beep. Next. Beep beep. My baseball player. Not a I don't even know who brought her. Beep beep. Hell oh, yo, where's your date? Beep beep. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Beep beep. Look at the gray, bro. Look at the gray. Oh. Beep beep. Beep beep. Well, folks. Oh yeah. Where's my lighting? Beep beep. <laughs> beep beep. The senior prize. Beep beep.